Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so today in this episode, I'll be demonstrating how to configure a live agent, or you can also say Salesforce chat. Um, you know, so it is a native Salesforce technology, which pretty much uh, enables the customer service agents to talk to uh, your user in the real time, right? So what we're gonna do, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I will configure, uh, you know, the Salesforce chat, and then we will try to mimic the behavior how when a user try to reach out to an agent, right? So the first thing first, what we're gonna do, I will go to the setup here. So you need to log into your Salesforce app. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then uh, go to the GearCog icon and go to the service setup. And then, uh, so what I'll do, I will go to this, uh, you can see the view all, right? So go here and just look for chat, chat with the customer, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and then we follow the instruction here and then uh, we'll proceed further. And uh, we just say Q name. So we'll say chat, Q, yeah. And just copy here and so I'll just call, choose my name here, uh, and then work size, you know, just pretty much mean amount of an agent capacity that one work from track you consumes, right? So, uh, oh, crap, that's not great. <laughs> my apologies. So I accidentally pressed escape, and this is track you. <laughs> All right, I select my name here. Uh, so, and then just keep the option here, uh, the website, right? So what I'll do, uh, just copy here. I'll just copy this here. And I'll just put it here, yeah. And it's gonna do next. <clears throat> And what what to your type, right? So I'm not looking out for the sales at this stage. So I'm looking uh, for the service. So I'll choose the service. So it's a serve link chat with the case and the contact. So because my main uh, intention is to contact the service agent for a specific case, right? So and I'm gonna do next. So do you want it to activate an offline support? So what happens if an agent um, is not there, you can still get notified of an off offline support. So, you know, so, I mean, it, it, it's a part of a, a, a good customer service in my opinion, right? So for instance, you might have seen a certain website where user wanted to get hold of uh, agent team and you will get a message saying, hey, we are offline, but please leave your message name and, you know, message will get back to you, right? So that's like an offline support uh, where you don't have to, uh, for whatever reason, if you are unable to get hold of a service agent, you can leave an offline message, right? And just say, and I'll just do all the stuff you need, right? And so next, and I just say finishing up. Um, it's going to take a while, just don't worry about it. And um, right, <clears throat> so and while it loads, let it do what it was supposed to do. Uh, so what we're we gonna do, right? So you see this code, and this is the code what I'm gonna grab. <clears throat> and uh, excuse me, and I'm gonna create a Visual Force page and copy it here because I wanted to mimic the behavior. Okay. So I'll go next, and uh, okay, let me go back because I don't think I've copied the code. All right, now that now that's gonna do done. Okay, now what we're gonna do? Let's go to something called chat setting, right? We need to activate the chat setting, um, and so. So it's already activated, so which is fantastic. 
So just to make sure, because you know this has to be activated, enable chat. So when we configure that, it it you know it's activated behind the scene, right? Let's look at the one more setting, which is the omni-channel, um, omni-channel settings, and it's enabled as well, right? Pretty simple. Okay, now what we're gonna do? I will go to Visual Force page, and then I will just create a new one, right? And uh, right, and so I'll say chat. Oh, come on, chat site, chat, chat site. And remember the the code uh, which we've copied uh, from the previous uh, settings. So we. Uh, so we need to take this off and I'll copy it here okay and I will save it okay all right now what I'll do I'll go to the case yeah and I'll go to the case and I'll open in the new tab and uh, Let's just go all open cases. Right, okay. So I've entered the service console, right? So because that has to be activated in the service console, right? So um, now I can also go to the normal service as well, right? So so it doesn't work here, as you can see. Right, go to the service console and you can see the omni channel here right it's offline so let me go and change it to online right <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the visual force page okay let's uh, pick up a case number right I just wanted to know the status of this case Okay, I'll go here and I'll just do a preview here. And uh, <clears throat> all right, so this is as you can see, we got a chat option here. So I wanted to do a chat. <clears throat> so I will uh, do a well, let it load. It's a pretty simple option, right? In Service Cloud, this is the most easiest configuration you can do. So I will say we. Be right <laughs> test at test.com uh, status for right okay I'm just gonna say test at test.com so start chat right and so you're gonna go here and I got a request here and I will say here I accept the chat right Okay, so once an agent accepted the chat, so you can see all the conversation here. Yeah, can you please let me know the status of case? Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm having a conversation with an agent, and agent receives the message here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. So We'll say, yeah, sure. Uh, give me a sec, please. Um, so, yeah, sure. Um, so you can see, as you can see, an agent can say, all right, let me look at the case number. Okay, performance of the second consecutive weeks. 
so you can go to the case and say whatever who is this uh, so am I and you can say oh, all right okay so may I know your full name place right and the guy can say okay and say you know, I can copy that every green so you can say every green right okay so performance high performance so you know still it's a high priority case and there's a contact detail so the CFO called okay um, so you can say blah 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 and you can look at the call logs you can look at the status and all kind of stuff you can look at it right just to give information and you can say hey um, all right okay so you can say uh, thank you uh, and you can say your case is still open, uh, is still with us, and we are, and we will, we, uh, I will go back to you, whatever, right? We'll get back to you ASAP, right? Thanks. So something like that, you know, just a conversation, as you can see. Okay, so that says here, and okay, so okay, so thank you, bye. All right, so you can close the case, confirm and chat, you know, close chat, you know, okay, so the, all right, the, the, the chat ended, right? So, so when you look at this kind of uh, information, right, so you can clearly uh, see is one thing, right? Service Cloud offers that enhanced customer experience uh, using their Salesforce chat option, right? I don't have to call customer care, right? Uh, because, you know, maybe I'm not interested to talk to somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm a kind of guy, you know, uh, you, sometimes a person could be deaf, right? It can happen, right? And the person can only chat, so you can't expect them to make a conversation when they can't talk. So the chat is a great option, right? So as you can see that, you know, you know, I wanted to know the status of my case, and I had a chat with the customer, and I got to know what's happening. It's pretty simple, right? So this is what I would say um, a great way to offer a better customer service, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, cover in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as a, like I said, right, this is a pretty simple option, right? You don't need much fancy configuration. You just, you know, do a pretty basic stuff and you're good to go, right? All you have to worry about the script, right? The script, in my case, right, I've used Visual uh, Force page. You can take that script and embed in your website, right? It could be any website. So, you know, so if you're not comfortable how to do that, you can probably give to your webmaster or a web developer. He or she can figure that out, right? So this is a very great way, you know, to uh, make a live interaction with the customer. You can embed that uh, service cloud feature to your website, right? So thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope you guys have an amazing uh, Monday. Take care.